So we practice the horse stance and we practice the fighting stance. Now before we move on to the strikes and the blocks, I want to review a concept that is called check. And check is nothing more than your hands or your guard staying up. And normally the check is going to be just one hand because what's happening is one hand is striking and one hand is checking. Now, there's two reasons why we use the check. Number one is to block for that unexpected counter strike. So, for example, if I'm, let's say I'm going to just kind of throw a jab right over here. Instead of bringing my, my block over here or instead of bringing it down here, I want, I want to leave my hand right around the center of my body so this is the check reason is because if i jab most probably there's going to be some sort of counter strike and i want to be ready with this hand to literally counter it right or maybe it's coming from here or i don't know maybe it just comes from over here so from here i could block here i could block here i could block here you know whatever i need now as soon as this hand comes back most probably we're going to do another strike so let's say we're doing a, a one two punch sequence that means that one check here and then two check here i'm going to demonstrate this from a horse stance i start off from a horse stance and i'm going to strike with my right hand while my left hand stays back, but we're gonna leave it open. It's not gonna be, like I said, completely open. It's just gonna be relaxed, okay? In this case, we're gonna try to leave our thumb close to our hands. And then when we throw another strike, we're gonna bring this check, we're gonna bring it back. So if there is a counter strike, if it's coming from my left, up, I could block. If it's coming from the bottom, I could block. If it's coming from my right side up, I can block. If it's coming from the bottom, I can block. If it's coming from behind, I can easily rotate. So this gives me a lot of choices and a lot of protection from any strike that might be coming from anywhere, right? So this is for that unexpected strike. Uh -huh. So we covered the first reason for the check, which is we want to protect ourselves from that unexpected strike that is coming. The second reason is because we want to cover distance. We're creating distance between us and the opponent. Okay, so at this distance, I know that I can reach so far, but then again, I have an idea of how much my opponent can reach. So sometimes if I say check the distance, we're just kind of doing this really quick movement just so we could get a, a calculate, right? We could get a feel of how far we're from the opponent. And also we could almost kind of see how they react to that. So there's a lot of other things we could do. But the most important thing to remember is, one, we check to protect ourselves from the unexpected strike or counter strike that's coming towards us. And number two, we use the check to verify distance between the opponent and us.